Mojoholics. Welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Let's get down to business. In case you missed it, we published another short series this week that included top 10 food catchphrases, top 10 product catchphrases, and top 10 commercial jingles. I don't know about you, but every time I see one of these lists about commercials, I get uber nostalgic. So these are definitely some more fun ones for me. And finally, today we published two related clips, top 10 quirky movie pickup lines and top 10 serious movie pickup lines. I'm not sure any of them would actually work in real life, so use them at your own risk. But Watching people use them in movies is epic. No, I don't want to go to a party in your pants. Very well. Ian, would you like to go to a party in my pants? The calendar tells me it's Friday, and that means it's the weekend. And that means it's time for a Mojothon. So, what can you guys expect to see on your screens? On Saturday, we've got the ultra-violent top 10 torture scenes. I will warn you now, that clip contains mature content and gets pretty graphic at times, so it's awesome. On Sunday, we've got a follow-up clip to a popular video we did a while back. So many of you seem to like top 10 rip-off songs that we decided we would do top 10 sound-alike songs. The difference between those two is that for rip-off songs, there was a lawsuit involved. And for sound-alike songs, it's just songs that a lot of people think sound very similar. And also coming out on Sunday, top 10 comic strips. So whether you like Dilbert or Garfield or Peanuts, that one should keep you entertained. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. Everyone knows the names Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin as the first and second men to walk on the moon respectively. However, there was a third man. Who was the third man aboard the Apollo 11 spaceflight? John Glenn, Alan Shepard, Jim Lovell, or Michael Collins. You are correct if you said Michael Collins, who piloted the mission's command module and did not actually get to walk on the moon. Bummer. If you want to test your knowledge on that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about the moon landing because July 20th, 1969 is the day the Apollo 11 landed the first humans on the moon. So if you want to learn more about that historic event, check these videos out. Top 10 defining moments of 1960s America, space race, 20th century timeline and firsts, top 10 televised events of all time, top 10 astronaut movies, top 10 Walter Cronkite moments, and top 10 conspiracies of all time. Also, don't forget to head over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask you guys your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Last week, we published top 10 songs about famous people. Yesterday, we published top 10 songs about alcohol. And coming up on Sunday, July 27th, we've got top 10 hilarious slow motion movie scenes for you. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we've got even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, top 10 beloved Hollywood actors. We've done hated actors. Now it's time to find out which Hollywood heavyweights can do no wrong. Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep. After that, I'm stumped. And another one for you gamers, top 10 annoying situations in gaming. So if you've ever come up against an unskippable cutscene or have been plagued by corrupt save files, you should probably get your rage out by voting for that one. And finally, my fave suggest page of the week, top 10 comfort foods. So if you prefer chips to chocolate, mac and cheese to ice cream, or some regional dish like putsin or shawarma, you should get your vote on. And as always, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other list you might have an opinion on. Hey guys, we're here to give you the red couch treatment to answer your questions and to give you a sneak peek on how we do things behind the scenes Shay Watch Mojo. To help me is Dan. Hey. Okay, let's start with a comment from... Is this really his name? Pedophile disguised as a school asks, do you guys have to be so scripted? Sigh, and it actually says sigh on my paper. But anyway, while YouTube has historically been a platform for opinionated hosts, 
Watch Mojo has always been a very factual and research heavy channel. As we've said a bunch of times before, and our top 10s are a prime example of this, even our early stuff like biographies and how to's were heavily scripted. So while it's not scripted in the terms like drama or comedy has to be, this is still factual infotainment. So when we decided to do the What's Your Mojo show, part of it was to show the faces behind the voices. Ew, can you tell somebody else wrote that line? Anyway, but we also wanted to keep it professional and scripted. However, you know we're huge on feedback. So we're in the early stages of making some programming changes that will reflect that. What changes? I don't know, I forgot to read this before we shot and now I'm also kind of stressed. But let's press on. Here's a question that comes up in the comments a lot and it's basically, how do we decide who narrates what? Short answer, we flip a coin. No, not really. But seriously, folks, uh, we're both lucky enough to have many roles and responsibilities at Watch Mojo. And early on, we conducted some basic focus groups to decipher which of our voices groups react to better. And we've more or less stuck to those patterns over time. We do occasionally thumb wrestle, which, as you know, led to this unfortunate incident. Oh my god, how many times do I have to apologize for that? Once would be nice. Whatever. Anyway, as we started doing last week, we are letting you guys get to know us a little bit better. So, Dan, what is or are your favorite TV shows? Well, always a big fan of The Simpsons. Uh, the early stuff before season eight, of course. Um, big fan of The Wire, probably my favorite HBO show. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Futurama and Archer lately. Some Bob's Burgers. What about you? Well, there are quite a few shows I can quote back to you verbatim. Uh, and I watch all those shows that everybody watches. But my number one would have to be 30 Rock because Tina Fey is my spirit animal. I also watch Jeopardy every day because I'm a huge nerd. You're so boring. <laughs> okay, uh, what's your favorite city? Well, I am boring, so I don't have a great answer to this. You know, I've been to New York, love it. Been to LA, had a great time. Vegas, not gonna talk about it, but it was fun. Um, but I actually visit Stratford, Ontario a lot, home of the festival theater and birthplace to none other than Justin Bieber. And that is not why I go there but it is one of my favorite cities in Canada and in the world. How about you, you globetrotter? Well, for me, I'd say it has to be a split between Paris and Milan. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I, I've been nowhere. Uh, I've been to Bangkok, that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm a fan of Montreal because I live here, but I'm, I'm pretty boring. I'm, I'm too poor to travel. I can't believe I forgot my own hometown of Montreal and now I'm pandering, but of course I do love Montreal. Anyway, next question. Favorite musical artist, go. Uh, Tom Waits, Tool, and The Misfits. Okay, same question. Well, I lean towards the classic rock and I guess I like glam rock type stuff, so I listen to a lot of Journey and Bon Jovi and Elton John and, you know, I like singers that have a really good voice. But I also uh, I love the Foo Fighters, which is moderner than that other stuff, so that's good, and every novelty song ever written. So, yeah, it's a toss-up. Always with the 80s. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's finish up with some comments of the week. Smooth TV commented on Top 10 Sodas, this video made me go out of my cave to buy a soda. Thanks, WatchMojo. At WatchMojo, we are always glad to hear that you do take a break from the computer, as long as it's between WatchMojo videos, of course. If knowledge of pizza and scoring babes makes you a genius, then maybe Parthglad might be onto something when he commented on top 10 TV geniuses. How about Joey from Friends? Sticky out tongue face. How you doing? Shane the filmmaker commented on top 10 Doctor Who doctors. The Cosmic Hobo. I would have called him Space Mo Howard. You know, I never noticed this until he pointed it out, but the second doctor does kind of look like him. And finally, Hash Brown commented on top 10 summer songs. In Canada, we only get two months of summer. Oh, Hash Brown, we feel your pain, believe me. Anyway guys, thanks as always for the comments and questions. And if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments. Catch us on Twitter or Facebook, or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ 
And if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo. May the force be with you.